Michael Cruz aka Michael Moretti aka Yanti Michael Green, a former NYPD detective, drugged and raped a woman he trailed for Dan Ribikoff's PI firm International Investigative Group, IIGPI, a world-renowned expert in the field of drug-facilitated sexual assault concludes. Exclusive, there's been a development in a story we've been following from New York. Michael Cruz, a retired NYPD detective and unlicensed private investigator, currently living in New Orleans, who is also known as Michael Moretti, Yinti Michael Green, and Michael Moretti Ford Cruz, allegedly drugged and sexually assaulted a woman he trailed for Dan Ribikoff's PI firm International Investigative Group, according to newly released expert witness testimony. The expert's report, which includes an analysis of the underlying facts in this case and detailed conclusion, is available for download at this link. Michael Cruz aka Yanti e. Green aka Michael Moretti aka Michael Moretti Ford Cruz is accused of drugging, raping, and video recording the sexual assault of a New York woman he trailed while working as an unlicensed private investigator for Dan Ribikoff, the polygraph expert on NBC Universal's The Steve Wilkos Show. Ribikoff's family-owned businesses, which includes International Investigative Group and In-Depth Polygraphs, run by his daughter Lisa Ribikoff, apparently hired Cruz A. K.A. Moretti a.k.a. Green, a former NYPD cop, in 2017 to trail a woman in the midst of a divorce. Incredibly, Cruz Moretti allegedly drugged and sexually assaulted his target inside the same vehicle he used to surveil her. The former surveillance subject filed a civil lawsuit in 2019 against Cruz aka Moretti aka Green and other IIGPIs. He worked with on the same case, including New York State licensed PI Richard Custodio and retired NYPD detective Fred Caravazanos, accusing them of sexual assault, and in December 2020 against the Ribikoffs and IIGPI for negligent hiring and supervision, among other allegations. Expert concludes victim was drugged, sexually assaulted by Cruz aka Moretti during the discovery phase of this case, as alleged, Cruz aka Moretti aka Green attempted to dupe the court by submitting edited versions of the videos he recorded with his iPhone during the assault, concocting a ludicrous narrative that the victim actually raped him, and his videos were the originals and the only footage in existence. After his iPhone mysteriously disappeared, the victim's attorney, who discovered inconsistent metadata buried within the edited footage, suspected foul play and asked the court to order forensic investigators to hunt for all the footage recorded by Cruz Moretti the night of the assault. With cooperation from Apple, forensic investigators were able to recover the original, unedited versions of the videos from a backup file sitting in Green Cruz's iCloud account. The recovered files were turned over to Trinco Parada, a well-respected expert in the field of drug-facilitated sexual assault, who analyzed them and issued a report concluding that the sexual activity observed between Green Moretti Cruz and the alleged victim is consistent with a drug-facilitated sexual assault of the woman Cruz Moretti Green trailed for the Ribikoffs. The expert also indicated that, based on the underlying facts and evidence reviewed in this case, GHB, a substance commonly associated with date rape, was the drug most likely administered to the victim, presumably by Cruz Moretti Green, the night of the assault. In addition to her semi-conscience and drug-induced state, observed in the footage, the expert noted the victim consistently reported her memory of the incident was nearly wiped clean the following morning, facts corroborated by sworn testimony from third-party witnesses at the time. The expert explained that most victims of GHB-facilitated sexual assault experience similar, complete lapses in memory, inconsistent with alcohol use, after indications of sexual activity, which may explain the substance's popularity amongst sexual predators. The advantage being, if the victim can't remember what happened, there's nothing to report to the police. More shockingly, according to her report, the expert, while reviewing the unedited footage, apparently discovered Cruz Moretti Green's handgun on the seat of his vehicle, near the victim's body, during the assault. The handgun found in the unedited recovered footage may be the same gun Moretti Cruz Green demonstrated in an Instagram video he posted weeks before the assault. The expert stated, this could constitute intimidation to a victim of unwanted sexual contact, if conscious and aware of its presence. She also noted that the victim consistently reported that Cruz Moretti Green brandished a handgun prior to the assault taking place. 
Ironically, approximately one month before the victim's rape, Green Moretti Cruz, while working as a PI for the Ribicoff's firm IIGPI, posted a link on his Facebook page to a video demonstrating the ease at which a victim could be roofied or drugged. Court rules Cruz Moretti destroyed evidence, convicts him of criminal contempt in February 2022, after a two-day hearing, where the defendant was represented by counsel, Cruz aka Moretti aka Green was found guilty of criminal contempt by a New York State Supreme Court judge for his intentional destruction, withholding, and editing of the video he recorded of the victim's alleged sexual assault. According to the contempt trial transcript, after Cruz aka Moretti aka Green destroyed the iPhone used to produce the recordings, court-ordered forensic investigators were able to recover the original, unedited footage from his Apple iCloud account. Evidence presented at trial indicates Cruz Green Moretti went to significant lengths to cover up the victim's alleged rape, which included his intentional destruction of the iPhone used to make the recordings, as well as his intentional editing and removal of incriminating visual and audio segments from the original footage. Following his criminal contempt conviction, the victim was awarded a $335,000 judgment by the court, which Cruz A. K. A. Moretti aka Green appears to be actively evading, according to recent filings. Cruz Green changes name, hired by GoX Scooter Rental Co. in New Orleans apparently, with an anticipated guilty decision looming, Green, under the radar, quickly changed his legal name to Michael Moretti Ford Cruz by filing an application with the state of Delaware. Shortly after the judgment was issued against him by the court, Cruz Moretti Green fled the state of New York and ended up in Louisiana. After settling in New Orleans, Green Moretti Cruz worked for the city in the emergency section of their sewer and water board for a short time before landing a job with Cheetah X, a San Francisco-based company owned by Alexander Debelov. Cheetah X rents electric scooters in New Orleans under the name Go X. Cruz Moretti Green uses corporate accounts to shield income from judgments true to form, according to court documents, Cruz aka Moretti aka Green appears to be shielding over $70,000 of personal income received from Cheetah X via wire transfer to a corporate bank account, under the name The Moretti Group Inc. The victim's attorney has filed an emergency order to show cause, asking a New York court to garnish Moretti Cruz Green's wages from Cheetah X and Ishuan. Order to turn over cash assets from his alleged bogus corporate entity, the Moretti Group Incorporated, to partially satisfy the judgment against him. Bank statements, submitted to the court in the form of numerous exhibits, appear to confirm that Cruz Moretti is shielding income from judgments in corporate bank accounts, which he uses, not for legitimate business purposes, but primarily for personal expenses, including OnlyFans internet pornography subscriptions, cigars, drugs from hims and hers.com, Harris Hotel and Casino, Petco supplies for his dogs and cats, etc. New York judge denies Cruz aka Moretti's attempt to unfreeze accounts Green Moretti Cruz appeared in a New York City courtroom on Tuesday morning January 24 and faced Supreme Court Justice Erica Edwards. Apparently, the victim's attorney was successful at freezing a corporate bank account Cruz Moretti Green allegedly uses primarily for personal expenses, including numerous subscriptions to OnlyFans internet pornography websites. According to reports, when he was called to address the court, Cruz Moretti first spent several minutes explaining why he legally changed his name from Yenti Michael Green to Michael Moretti Ford Cruz, then argued why his bank account should be unfrozen. According to the court's decision, Justice Edwards didn't buy into Moretti Cruz's claim that his pension funds should be protected from judgments, despite the fact that he deposited them into a business account and allegedly commingled these funds with corporate assets. We understand the victim's attorney made Justice Edwards aware of Cruz Moretti's alleged practice of running personal expenses through his corporate bank accounts, specifically to evade judgments against him. Following the hearing, the court issued a written decision, denied Cruz Moretti Green's motion in its entirety, and ruled in favor of the victim and her attorney. On Wednesday, January 18, 2023, Cruz aka Moretti allegedly appeared for a court-ordered deposition with the victim's attorney. Our understanding is that the deposition lasted several hours and focused on income and cash assets Moretti Cruz Green is allegedly shielding from judgments using fraudulent corporate bank accounts. We expect video and transcripts from the deposition to be available shortly. 
Chris's employer, Dan Ribikoff, CEO of IIG, allegedly sent racist texts to PIs as previously reported, Cruz Moretti Green's former employer, Dan Ribikoff and his daughter Lisa Ribikoff of IIG PI and in-depth polygraphs, are dealing with their own problems, after highly offensive racist text messages, allegedly sent by Dan Ribikoff to private investigators, were published by the New York Daily News in November 2021. After the article appeared online, the Ribikoff's contract with the New York Transit Authority Police Department to provide polygraph services was terminated. Coincidentally, Dan Ribikoff hasn't been seen on any new episodes of The Steve Wilkos Show since the racist text messages were exposed, although his firm, In-Depth Polygraphs, run by Lisa Ribikoff, is believed to be administering polygraph exams to The Steve Wilkos Show's participants near the studio. We expect more breaking news from this explosive New York case shortly and will provide updates as soon as they become available.